Okay, here we are with the young bond. Um, so this is our last family of 2018 chicks. Um, the 2019 breeding season starts October 1st, and between the time that these guys go into their fledgling cage in the kitchen and October 1st, we're going to be making some major renovations in the breeding shed. And then October 1st is the official start of the um, 2019 breeding season. So that'll have me um, with birds in the breeding shed for pretty much a year straight. But um, from that point forward, once I make those renovations, I'll be breeding twice a year. And October will be the first 2019 breeding. And then the second one will be March. Um, and I'll be breeding 18 pairs at a time. This is going to be a huge undertaking. <laughs> so here's our last babies that will have 2018 bands on them. Um, the one caveat to that would be um, you start, you put your breeding pairs in the breeding shed at um, October 1st. You get 2019 bands November 1st. They go out in the mail, so you get them the first week in November. So putting by putting them in on October 1st, you're hopefully going to have your 2019 bands to put on them by the time the chicks hatch and are old enough. So you figure you put them, you put the pairs into the shed on October 1st. They start laying eggs a week later, around the 7th. They sit on the eggs for 19 days or nearly three weeks. So we're getting up to the last few days of October by the time chicks start to hatch. And the chicks have to grow for around eight to 10 days before they're ready to band. Hopefully by then you're at October, I mean November 7th and you have your 2019 bands in hand. If I don't, I still have plenty of 2018 bands left that I can use. Um, but hopefully the 2019 ones will be here. So, so these are our last babies, and I got to up to an even 50. Uh, that, that doesn't mean I had exactly 50 chicks. I had a certain number that died um, in that first 24 hours before they were banded. Um, I had a couple that were massacred, um, and I had a few that failed from rickets. So I think I ended up with about 40 chicks um, out of 50 bands. So, and I had slightly more chicks than that because a few went before they were banded. So, um, I think I'll probably do even better this uh, coming year um, as far as survival goes because I've dialed in the calcium and the diet thing and I'm going to eliminate rickets as a problem. So, so here's our biggest baby. He's a fine little guy. Pretty little spangle. Got lots of blue coming in and I think because he's... He looks a little light, but he's got just enough of a dark hue that because he's a spangle, he's a very relaxed little guy. Um, he's probably a cobalt, I've decided, so I'm going to put that in his file. I could have to change it, but um, he's a nice big baby. Got lots of real estate back there. Um, so I'm very pleased with this little one. Going to be pretty as a picture. There you go, little guy. Um, baby number two. Now, baby number two is four days. Oh, stop. Behind baby number one. Let go, you silly bird. There. Behind baby number one. So there's a lot of developmental difference here. He's also clearly a spangle. See that? He's also clearly a blue. Um, but it's too soon to tell whether he's a, a sky blue or a cobalt. Um... And he's in good shape. No more tape for you. Um, and got a full little belly. Hi, little bee. You said hi. Pull me back with my brother. He's very big and strong. He will take care of me. See? Yeah. And this is Littlest Boo. And let's see. Can we tell whether you're a spangler or not? Uh, yeah, I see two white tail feathers in the middle, except that they're not white. Do you see the yellow tint? So this one is going to be a yellow base bird, like store, like um, Breezy, Breezy Mom, um, but a Spangle. So we got no normal chicks out of this. They're all Spangles, like their mom. Um, but that's okay with me. I like Spangles. Um, that means I can easily cross somebody into my, um, I'm going to try and develop a double factor spangle line so I can cross one of these into my double factor spangle line. Hi little one, he says hi. Look at how fat you are. 
So this one is just two days behind the second brother, so he's in line. Um, there's just a gap between the first and the second. Um, but they are looking fabulous. Um, we have no more calcium issues. Everybody is growing to pace. So that's it for our last babies of the 2018 breeding season.